What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Attila the Rilla the Rapzilla, the Turkish Viking directly from Scandinavia, Denmark. You know how it is. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well, inshallah. And I am so happy to be back with yet another amazing video for you guys. Today's video is gonna be great. So I've stumbled upon a video called How Malaysia Did the Impossible COVID-19. So this is a channel called Other Side of the Truth. And this guy tells how the Malaysian people, the country of Malaysia, did something amazing when it comes to dealing with coronavirus, COVID-19. This is interesting because I live in Denmark at the moment and things are just getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, there's so many restrictions at the moment and we cannot travel. You have to wear those masks and, you know, just so many things that makes life not that good. <laughs> you know, we can't even go to gatherings or anything. It just sucks. <laughs> How is it in your country and what country are you from? Tell me in the comment section what country you are from and also tell me how the coronavirus has impacted your country and how your country is dealing with it. The reason why we are watching a video called How Malaysia Did the Impossible when it comes to COVID-19 is because, first of all, many of my followers are from Malaysia. I love you. And also because this is one of the only videos I could find. <laughs> if you have another video where it explains how your country is doing things, then send it to me and I will react to it. With that said, you guys, we all know that staying hydrated is an amazing thing, you know? <laughs> and if you get thirsty throughout this video or throughout your life, you probably need this amazing bottle. This bottle is from the coldest water. This bottle is amazing. It's just like those, you know, thermo, ther thermos bottle things that keeps the water hot. Thermos. This just keeps them cold. <laughs> so if you got water or anything you want to keep ice cold, this can do it. You need this in your life. It has made everything easier for me, man, because there's nothing worse than, you know, having to drink hot water or, you know, water that has gone warm. It's just disgusting, man. I don't know. But this will keep it cold. If you want a bottle for yourself, you can get them in all sizes and shapes and colors. Just go into their website by clicking on the link in the description. And also you can use the code Attila to get an additional 10% off this bad boy. So do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so without taking more of your time, you guys, let's watch the video. Imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis. You have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. And then, the worst thing that could ever happen, happens. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. Here are 15 ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Amaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adullah has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. 
Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Number 10, the Tublet Cluster. The Tublet Cluster complied with any order from MOH and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8, universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number 7, stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number 6, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is really cool. Number five, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number four, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food and COVID-19 testing during their two week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE, college students made PPE, even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. And number one most important is teamwork. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia to now being one of the safest countries in the entire world. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible. So there you have it, you guys. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, that was amazing. It just felt like, <laughs> it just felt like I was watching an Avengers movie, you know, a trailer for a new Marvel movie with superheroes. But man, this is Malaysia, you know? I really didn't know that this was possible for a country to get together in a way like this, you know? and. I must say that was fast to, you know, build hospitals that quick and getting the entire country to work together to this goal about, you know, making Malaysia better, the country, you know, oh, that's amazing. I really loved it, especially the one where people took care of the homeless people and building hospitals and also welcoming back Malaysians from other countries by providing them free hotels and meals and oh, man. That was amazing. And also the part where he said that the politicians put aside their differences to make Malaysia better. That hit me, man, because I live in Denmark. Okay, let me tell you about the situation in Denmark at the moment. In Denmark, people are not getting together. We may claim that, but that's not true. Our country has taken steps towards making, you know, uh, the country more safe. And it is working, but it is going very, very slow. I think this is my personal opinion. And with that said, you guys, Denmark is also focusing on so many unnecessary things. For example, there is a lot of heat going on about Islam and religions and how bad it is for society and, you know, 
things are just crazy at the moment in Denmark and you know a lot of politicians are talking about Islam and Muslims being the problem as if Muslims and Islam was the new disease and you know epidemic of the world <laughs> it's just wrong man because I'm tired of it there is real problems in the world that needs to be fixed for example the COVID-19 can we first deal with this before you point fingers at peoples and religions come on you guys this is what i was talking about you know when i tell you guys to subscribe to my channel so we can grow as a family this is exactly the same thing you know the malaysians are doing it outside youtube of course but you know they're getting together no matter the religion no matter the race no matter the politics they put that aside to achieve their common goal which is to make Malaysia a better place and this is the way it should be anywhere in the world and this is my opinion <laughs> as I said you guys please tell me in the comment section where you guys are from and also tell me the situation in your country and what the country are doing to make that country better and tell me about the situation in your country with that said you guys if you enjoyed the video like the video and of course especially if you are from malaysia you have to like the video <laughs> and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't it would be great and an honor for me to have you as a part of this channel so yeah you guys that was amazing i got inspired man we gotta try these good stuff in our countries inshallah take extremely good care of yourselves you guys stay hydrated use the coldest water bottle to do so and also i love you <laughs> i'll see you in the next video you guys assalamualaikum